प्लीज राइज फॉर द एकेडमिक प्रोसेशन Hello. Uh, please remain standing for the institute song. Take your seats. I now request the director TISS to declare the convocation open. I declare the convocation open. I request the director to present the annual report.
our esteemed chief guest of this, for this convocation, Dr. Satish Pradhan, Sri Vijay Singh Ji, Interim Chairman, Governing Board of Tata Institute of Social Sciences, members of the Governing Board and Academic Council, students, staff, and faculty, parents and relatives of the graduating students, and all other guests connecting online with us today. I welcome you to the 82nd convocation of the Tata Institute of Social Sciences. As the director, it is my privilege and honor to present the Institute's annual report for academic year 2021-2022. The academic year continued to be affected by COVID pandemic with campus lockdown ending in phases while online teaching was the norm for the most part, final year students in small batches were able to experience a slice of campus life for four to five weeks at a time. Despite these challenges, 1,419 students enrolled in our 53 postgraduate, three undergraduate, and 18 MPhil and doctoral programs from, from our main campus in Mumbai and the three off campuses in Tuljapur, Guwahati, and Hyderabad completed their coursework and now ready to fly away with their degrees. And I'm certain with numerous memories and life altering experiences. Early this year, we launched the birth centenary year of Professor M.S. Kore, who was among the first graduates of TIS and later took over as the longest serving director till date, more specifically from 1962 to 1982. An acclaimed social scientist with a multidisciplinary approach, a visionary educator administrator, and an institution builder, Professor Gore advocated integration of social science theory with social work practice. <clears throat> a Padma Shri, he is well known for his writings on social work education, cultural dimensions of development, and Indian social reformers and movements. We observed his birth centenary with a few publications <clears throat> and nine webinars organized by different schools and centers. The Institute participated in various rounds of institutional rankings. The School of Social Work maintained its top ranking yet again. It was ranked as the best college of social work in India by India Today for 2021 as well as for 2022 and as the best social work institute in India 2021 by Outlook. This ranked second across India in the 2021 OBE ranking and is positioned in the HAI of Eminence, Institution of Academic Excellence category. This was awarded four stars by the Institution's Innovation Council, an initiative of the Ministry of Education. This was ranked fourth across India in the Green Institutional Rankings 2022 by the Sustainable Institutions of India. And the NIRF ranked this within the first 100, 100 overall among institutions and universities and 60th among the universities. We added strategic partnerships to advance our work for greater impact nationally and globally. The TIS Guwahati off-campus signed an MOU with the Northeastern Regional Institute of Water and Land Management, Tejpur, to promote teaching, training, and research in the fields of ecology, social work, and sustainability studies, with a special focus on the Northeastern region. TIS Hyderabad off-campus developed partnership with UNICEF for district-level support on risk communication and community engagement for Telangana state. The School of Vocational Education of TIS signed many new partnership agreements, including with Lenskart iTech, HCL Foundation, Maruti Suzuki, and Tata Power. The TIS Incubation Center, hosted by the Center for Social Entrepreneurship, School of Management and Labor Studies, signed MOU with the District Administration of Bastar, Chhattisgarh, as a knowledge partner for Think B, the state's newly founded incubation center. As the knowledge partner for Bi Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council, or BIRAC, and its Spursh SIEP program, the incubation center also trained and mentored the 2020 cohort of social innovation innovators in building a framework for socially relevant technology, feasible solutions, and developing a market-centric approach for enterprise creation. Over 60 social innovators from this cohort 
across 14 Sparsh centers, technology business incubators that is, successfully completed their 18-month programs spread across six thematics. With COVID-19 imposed travel restrictions slowly lifting and NEP 2020 providing new opportunities, the Office of International Affairs renewed its partnerships with the launch of the TIS, TIS Monash Strategic Partnership, Wet Skills Water Challenge Mumbai 2021, leading together dialogue on women and leadership and social entrepreneurship challenge in the Indo-Pacific. With easing of COVID restrictions, we started welcoming international students as well. And in this year, we welcomed 18 full-time international students and five semester exchange students during the year. Overall, we signed or renewed 52 MOUs with national organizations and universities and 16 with international universities. During the year under review, 1,413 research projects were ongoing at the Institute. 196 new projects were initiated and 213 were completed. This research is characterized by topicality, social applicability, and policy and programmatic relevance. A mention of a sample of research areas will illustrate <coughs> this point. School of Habitat Studies was engaged in several environment-related topics, including research on low-cost innovation technology for water resources management for urban and rural water systems, policy pathways for aligning li livelihood restoration of riverine communities with conserving Ganga, fast forward to SDG 6, acceptable and affordable water in secondary Indian cities, pesticide risk assessment and mitigation, agricultural interventions and farmers' well-being, forest sustainability and livelihood strategies, and community forest resource management plan and livelihood issues. The Jamshedji Tata School of Disaster Studies investigated epidemic resilient communities, disaster resilience leadership, transboundary water governance, infusing gender in disaster pedagogies, disaster risk assessment in urban resettlement processes, heat wave vulnerability, and similar other climate change topics. Migrants, migration, home and belonging, and changing mobility patterns and risk behavior were themes explored by faculty in schools of development studies, social work, and health system studies. Mental health and well-being of marginalized groups and school students and its gender dimensions and post-COVID manifestations were examined by School of Human Ecology and Health Systems. Transition to digital technologies in the context of health, education, safety, and well-being, <clears throat> and gendered access to digital technologies was a cross-cutting theme across schools. Gender equality in Hindi cinema was another very important theme explored by the School of Media and Cultural Studies. Studies on issues related with various forms of disability were carried out by faculty in Tuljapur off-campus and the Advanced Center for Women's Studies. A few researchers were in cross-cultural context as well. Researchers at the Center for Excellence in Teacher Education undertook a UNESCO Commission study on the role of non-state actors in the teaching profession and teacher education in South Asia covering Afghanistan, India, and Nepal. The Jamshedji Tata School of Disaster Studies explored multi-hazard resilience of HEIs in the Asia-Pacific context. During the year, this faculty produced over 500 publications, including 203 peer-reviewed journal articles, 107 chapters in books, 25 authored or edited volumes, and nearly 100 other pieces of writings. The research scholars' publication count was 45. The Indian Journal of Social Work, now in its 83rd year of uninterrupted publication, brought out a special issue on the emerging discourse on queer affirmative mental health practice in India. The CET faculty authored the UNESCO State of the Education Report for India 2021, titled No Teacher, No Class. Field action projects are unique to the institute and currently over 20 such projects are active. Collectively, these projects address a host of societal issues and reach out to a range of marginalized population groups 
and communities. But besides serving the communities, most FAPs also impact government policies and programs, demonstrate implementable models, and initiate reforms and good practices. Let me highlight a few with some examples. The work of Prayas in prison reforms and advancing rights of under trials and prisoners is receiving wide recognition by various state governments and the courts. In 2021, Prayas signed an MOU with the Home Department Government of Maharashtra to institutionalize the role of social workers in the prison system. Prayas' efforts also led the Maharashtra government to provide cash subsistence as part of COVID relief to women rescued from commercial sexual exploitation. In February 2022, the Uttarakhand High Court invited Professor Vijay Raghavan of Prayas to serve on the high-powered three-member committee for making recommendations to improve prison conditions in Uttarakhand state. The Special Cell for Women initiated in 1984 with its institutionalized presence in six states of India has now upscaled its work to 11 districts of Assam through its spe spe special cells and community approach initiative. The project supported by Japaigo India aims to strengthen response to gender-based violence and access to sexual and reproductive health rights in the state by bringing together local grassroots organizations and groups engaging on women's issues. I call the School of Human, from the School of Human Ecology, in collaboration with WhatsApp, launched a chatbot for offering resources on mental health and well-being. Against the backdrop of the Ukraine crisis, ICOL launched a special helpline to provide emotional support for Indian students in Ukraine and their parents. ICOL was featured in BBC's Facing Forward film series for bridging the mental health care gap in India. Koshish, the field action project of School of Social Work, works on issues of homelessness and as the knowledge partner of Social Welfare Department of Bihar State, it was behind the design of a national rehabilitation intervention titled SMILE, or short for Support for Marginalized Individuals for Livelihood and Enterprise. Launched on 12 February 2022 by the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, the intervention aims to provide welfare and rehabilitation to the transgender community and people engaged in the act of begging. Inspired by this work of Koshish, the well-known national award winner, uh, filmmaker Shri Kirit Khurana made a documentary film, The Invisible Visible, to capture the issue of homelessness and destitution through the journey of Koshish. The film has now won the Swedish International Film Festival Award 2022. Saksham Prava, funded by the Global Fund, implements psychosocial counseling for drug-resistant TB patients in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Karnataka, and Rajasthan. And during this year, it was able to reach out to more than 13,000 people living with drug-resistant and sometimes extra drug-resistant TB and their caregivers. They were also able to train 83 DRTB counselors employed under the National TB Elimination Program, which is a first for the country. Saksham Prava has so far reached out to successfully with its intervention by counseling over 1 lakh DRTB patients for successful treatment adherence and treatment from this disease. Saksham's community engagement model involving TB survivors or sathis who are trained to undertake telephone counseling for addressing TB stigma, dispelling myths, and becoming inspiration by their own personal stories of treatment success has now been adopted by the Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai, and 24 Saksham sathis are now placed in the municipal corporation. During 21-22, TIS faculty organized and participated in more than 1,000 programs, including conducting the 13th in-service training program for 27 All India Service Officers on Social Policy and Governance. And they participated in the EU-India Education Summit on Collaborations and Strategic Partnerships at Mumbai, among many other such collaborative initiatives. Our faculty, students, and alumni continue to make us proud with recognition through awards and fellowships. The TIS faculty team of Binopal, Unmesh Patnaik, and Kamal Murari deserves a special mention for the award of the Deutsche Patent 
utility model for innovation in methodology in the area of resource planning and analytics based on labor market analytics and transition probability computing. Our students, Pragya Sachan, Alisha Parida, S. Archana, Nipun Srinivas, Suyash Ghupchandani, Vipil Kumar, Neerja Sajan, and Bhavya Jain won prestigious best paper awards, competitive research fellowships, and case study competitions. Mamta Chaudhary of the MPhil batch of 2015-17 in public health and currently a PhD scholar was selected for the UPSC Indian Statistical, Statistical Services 2020 with an All India rank of 21. Four TIS alumni won educational scholarships this year. Nibedita Hati Barua of the Deve Development Studies, Sayyad Manzar of the Social Work in Livelihoods and Social Entrepreneurship, and Raju Kendre from the batch of MA Social Work in Rural Development from this Tuljapur campus won the 21-22 Shavening Scholarship, while Deepika Chandra from the MSc in Disaster Management won the British Council Scholarship for Women in STEM for the 2021 year. Raju Kendre, alumnus from Tuljapur campus, founded Eklavya to mentor first generation learners for realizing their full potential. He was featured on the cover page of Forbes magazine for the issue Forbes 30 Under 30 for his empowering first generation learners <laughs> initiative. Dr. Preeti John from the batch of 1994-96 in social work was one of the five women chosen for the very prestigious 2021 cohort of Harvard LEAD Fellows. <laughs> Student enrollment for 2021-2022 totaled 4,426 across all campuses. This included 286 in the bachelor's program, 2,618 in the master's, 98 scholars in MPhil, 1,043 for PhD, and 381 students in the Niranta Diploma and Certificate programs. In addition, the School of Vocational Education enrolled 1,759 students in 14 sectors and 33 programs and imparted education to more than 6,500 students of the second and third year of BWOC in 16 sectors at 95 locations. This strives to provide access to socially relevant quality higher education to all students with a dedicated mechanism in place to support those from economically weaker sections. This academic year, the total financial support offered to students was more than 1.5 crore. We express our deep gratitude to the donors, MVBS Scholarship, Tata Trusts, GM Financial, Cognizant Foundation, Bridge, and Alana Foundation. We also wish to acknowledge all those individuals who donated more than rupees 13 lakh in, the, in this academic year alone towards student aid corpus. The 21-22 academic year will be remembered as the year we re reconnected with our alumni at various levels through online and offline interactions, including over social media. These interactions included a meetup in physical mode of the TIS alumni in London in March last year, and the first official meeting of TIS squad in Australia in May of last year at Melbourne, and a meet with alumni based within India in Tamil Nadu, also in May of 2022. As part of our commitment to creating green and sustainable campuses, the Tuljapur off-campus undertook replantation work in coordination with the Social Forestry Department, Osmanabad District. A total of 22,400 saplings of 22 different indigenous species have been planted in the campus after removing many invasive species. The Social Forestry Department will take care of and maintain this plantation till 2025, while the off-campus will provide protective irrigation for the new plants. Coming to Convocation 2022, the TIS Hyderabad off-campus had its eighth annual convocation on 7th January 2023, in which 138 students and scholars were awarded degree. 
The TIS Guwahati off campus had its ninth annual convocation on 4th February 2023, in which almost about 150 students and scholars were conferred degrees. At today's 82nd annual convocation of TISS, being held at the main campus and in this particular hall after a gap of two years, 1161 students and scholars will be conferred their degrees. That's all of you. Yes. As we conclude, as we conclude this academic year, we thank the Ministry of Education and various other ministries, notably Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment and Ministry of Tribal Affairs, the University Grants Commission, and several funding organizations for their cooperation and support towards the Institute. A sincere thanks to the Chief Ministers of Telangana, Assam, and Maharashtra states, and the secretaries and other officials in state ministries for their generous goodwill and support. Our special and sincere thanks to Tata Trusts for the financial support extended to the Institute. Our sincere appreciation to all the companies in the corporate and industry sector, central and state government ministries and departments, and civil society organizations who have come forward for offering placements to our students. No words are enough to thank Sri S. Ramadurai, former chairman of the Institute's governing board, for his generous support with his time, mentorship, and connect with key partners and stakeholders, a deep sense of commitment and understanding for what the Institute stands for, and his warmth and goodwill towards the Institute. Thanks are also due to external members of the governing board, the academic council, and the finance committee. We are also immensely grateful to all our funders and those who have provided scholarships and fellowships for the students. The faculty, administrative, secretarial, and support staff, students, and all officials contributed to making 21-22 yet another memorable year when we all grappled with challenges of the receding COVID and emerged winners. Finally, on behalf of the Institute, I express my most sincere appreciation to Dr. Satish Pradhan for gracing today's convocation ceremony and inspiring the graduating students by his august presence. Thank you, Dr. Pradhan. And thank you all for a patient hearing. Thank you. I now request the director to award the degrees. The Academic Council of the Tata Institute of Social Sciences recommends that 53 students of the Master of Hospital Administration degree, 36 students of the Master of Public Health in Health Administration degree, 26 students of the Master of Public Health in Social Epidemiology degree, 22 students of the Master of Public Health in Health Policy, Economics and Finance, 64 students of Master of Arts in Human Resources Management and Labor Relations degree, 16 students of the Master of Arts in Social Entrepreneurship, 10 students of Master of Arts in Globalization and Labor, 27 students of the Master of Arts in Organization Development, Change and Leadership, 22 students of Master of Arts and Master of Science Analytics, 32 students of Master of Arts in Development Studies, 17 students of Master of Arts in Women's Studies, 90 students of the Master of Arts in Applied Psychology, Clinical and Counseling Practice, 25 students of the Master of Arts in Education Elementary, 20 students of Master of Arts in Education Degree, 26 students of Master of Arts in, and Master of Science in Disaster Management, 36 students of the Master of Arts in Media and Cultural Studies, 35 students of Master of Laws, LLM in Access to Justice, 9 students of Master of Library in Information Science who have satisfactorily fulfilled the academic requirements of the Institute may be admitted to the said degrees. Now therefore, by virtue of the authority vested in me as Director of the Institute, I have the honor to declare that the respective Master of Arts, Master of Science and Master of Public Health degrees 
from Mumbai campus may be awarded to these students who are present and others in absentia. I call upon the graduating students to rise for the oath ceremony. Now I request director to administer the oath. Okay, so, do you solemnly and sincerely promise and declare that if admitted to the degrees for which you have qualified, you will, in your daily life and conversation, conduct yourselves as become members of this institute? Do you solemnly and sincerely promise and declare that to the utmost of your opportunity and ability, you will use your power for the promotion of true learning and in the service of your fellow people. Do you solemnly and sincerely promise that you will faithfully and diligently fulfill the duties of the profession to which you will eventually belong and that you will on all occasions maintain its purity and reputation? Let the candidates now be presented by the respective deans and chairpersons for their degree. Now I am requesting Dean School of Health System Studies to invite the students graduating with the Master of Hospital Administration Master of Public Health in Health Administration, Master of Public Health in Social Epidemiology and Master of Public Health in Health Policy, Economics and Finance to receive their degrees. Congratulations, graduating student. Masters of Hospital Administration, Sivangi Dahiya, Abhi hai Parvin Idaho Anuj Lai Others as Ashurya Madho Bhongadi Ashurya Nayar Padma Kumar Bakshita Goetri, Asif Said, Ashish Bhagirath Gayadani, Bhagwan Gupta, Bipin Chandra. Pradeep Nikam, B. Varshini, Dipesh Raj, Deshmuk Pushkaraj Arun, Dhira Smita Das, Grija Kishore, Emmanuel Jos, Garibhale Patiksha Shankar, excuse me. Emmanuel mm. Juhi Anil Kumar, Karishma Das, Kabiri Sanjay Nikam, mm. 
Kriti Preeti, Kaishani Bidu Bulyatham, Mahesh Mohan Yu, Mahima Rana, Mahima Rana, Meghna Naskar, Matre Rohan Pradip, Mridul Bilas Habe, Nihar Purushattam, Neetika, Neetika Parihar, Oshid Negi, Palak Gupta, Priti Panhir, Priya Kushal Bhavade, Priyanka Palawat, Priyansh Gupta, Ram Shundar K. Ritika Sandeep Tiwari, Riya Banerjee, Samir Shalomke, Sanket. Sangharite Fulwaje, Shirshit Kaul, Sri Lekha Chibhanuri, Suji as Chauhan, Sumit Sharma, Supriya Prakash Gajbiye, Vivin Bijay, Vivek Kumar, in absentia. Hira Bharat Sa, Abdul Kumar, Ayushi Umesh Devi, Sruti Jitendra Dhamapur. Masters of Public Health in Health Administration, Abhiram Kishan Rajguru. <laughs> Bijali Nilufar Salim. <laughs> Bindia K. Nair, Daljit Kaur, Dipali Agnihotri, Dipshika K. Mesra, Khobragade Ayesha Raj Anand, Laura J. Selin, Monica Gupta, 
Nistha Kausik. Pail Bosch, Papkirat Kaur Dhillan, Prachiben Rakesh Kumar Patel, Pradeep Kumar Chha, Pradhya Vidushak Raut, Pratima, Palatsa Tawait, Rashri Singh Shamiksha Samatre Sanchita Ganesh Shivardekar Sandra Sabastin Silka Abraham, Shobha, Shaban Prashant Dhanaji, Sambhavi, Silka Abraham. Okay, you are? Okay. Shikha Abraham. Shobha. Huh. Shobha Kumari. Shreya Anjali. Is it fine? Smarak Prashanna Roy, Shubhajit Das, Sudhela Ikha Kumari, Rajendra Prashad, Dolly Ashok Uke, in absentia, Mausumi Daimari, Monica Telegaonkar, Nilam Akash Nithi Saim, Sayani Mandal, Sarvani Mohan Dali. Masters of Public Health in Social Epidemiology, Akanksha Adesh Jain, Aditi Chaudhuri, Aditha Senam, Ajay S. Babu, Anagha Pramesh, Anandi Birendra Wankhede, Christy Laya Prashad, Dauska Hajarika, Gupta Harish Raju, Kajal Gajanan Gautam, Khan Jeevan Fatma Javed Ahmed, Kotwal 
Vaishnavi Raju, Nisa M. Basir, Neva Talukdar, Priyanka Bilas Tambe, Reshmi Bhattacharji, Rishita Maiti, Shamata Jyoti Balakrishna Thayadi, Shraddha Chatterjee, Sumaira Khan, Sushmita Balab, Umang, In absentia, Ambika Nadkumar Nair, Fahin Ahmed, Fariha Hussain, and Rakhi Mandana Sandy. Masters of Public Health in Health Policy, Economics, and Finance, Imam Basir Mujawar, <laughs> Ayushi Bharadwaj, Amit Kumar Giri, Anamika Baksla, Gayatri Sadasiv Yadav, Kakadi Ronak Amar. Khatija Fatima, <laughs> Madhavaraj C, Priya Goswami, Rahul Bhairwani, Raj Ratna Ladu Ambhore, Richa Singh, Sai Sharupa Vashudev, Vaikam Padi, Samia Sri Gupta, Sri Reshmi Aung, Sudip Roy. In absentia, Akriti Kachru, Apana Elijabeth Maman, Kalpana Jadab, Manshi Latwal, Neha Kumari Ojha, Sonam Kumar. Now I request Dean School of Management and Studies, Labor Studies, to invite the students graduating with Master of Arts in Human Resource Management and Labor Relations, Master of Arts in Social Entrepreneurship, Master of Arts in Globalization and Labor, Master of Arts in Organization Development, Changes and Leadership, and Master of Arts, probably Master of Science Analytics, to receive their degrees. I present uh, the graduating students from the School of Management and Labor Studies. First, Master of Arts, Human Resource Management and Labor Relations, Aarti Chaudhary. (laughs) 
आयुष सोनी अभिरुचि कॉल अभिषेक कुमार आदर्श यादव अधियमान के आदित्य मारुति काकड़ ऐश्वरी नागर आकांक्षा वर्मा आकाश गुप्ता अमन कुमार सिंह अमृता आर अर्पित कुमार अभिलाष भौमिक अविनाश आनंद चैतन्य कनक नागले चौधरी प्रदीप दिलीप दिव्या के ए दिव्यांशु त्रिपाठी दोदिया हर्ष राजेश कुमार गायत्री चेमालिल अनिल कुमार गोविंद मेनन हर्ष प्रधन इंद्रदेव मिश्रा जयेश कुमार कुम्हारे कनव गुप्ता कवि चक्रवर्ती वी मोहम्मद आसिम सिद्दीकी मोहित सिन्हा नवल मृदुल्या निरंजन एच मेनन निरंजना एच मेनन अपलॉजी पारुल आमला प्रियंका गुप्ता पुलकित चंद्रा राहुल शुक्ला ऋतिक अभिषेक रूपक पवार रूपाली पांगते साहिल पंडिता साक्षी कुमार संजीव कुमार गुप्ता संजीव कुमार गुप्ता
प्रफुल्ल सरावदे सौरभ रंजन श्रेया सिदाना सृष्टि चौधरी शुभम गौतम शुभम सिंघानिया स्नेहल बलिराम पगार सृजन जैन त्रिवेंद्र सिंह तुलिका मजुमदार उमेंद्र कुमार शर्मा विभव कुंज इन एब्सेंशिया पी नवीन कुमार अंजना रामाकृष्णन हर्ष नायक महेंद्र राजू मणिकांत उज्जवल शशिकांत पीयूष गुप्ता राजा बरिन्या कृष्ण साहू ऋषिकेश अग्निहोत्री गायत्री ठाकरे ट्रेवर वानमी सावियान पैकिंतन नाउ मास्टर ऑफ आर्ट्स इन सोशल आंट्रप्रनरशिप अमन कुमार बलवान चौहान दीप्ति किरण देवज्योति जुज्जा वारापू चार्ल्स अविनाश मृणमयी मोहन सोनावले मुशम कपिल कुमार निधि मंगेश वर्तक निहार राजीव शर्मा पवन जुनालिया प्रीति कुंजम योमैकिन शांग इन एब्सेंशिया गुरुवेंद्र जितेंद्र राजावत प्रगति शिवहरे नंदन लोंडे सौरभ सुमन मास्टर ऑफ आर्ट्स इन ग्लोबलाइजेशन एंड लेबर अन्या पाठक ऋतिक वासु कोमल किशोर मनीष अग्रवाल नवीन प्रकाश निहारिका इन एब्सेंशिया अंशुमान पॉल सुनीत डेका वसुधा सेवारी फिलकाना एंड जेनी जैकलिन खालको मास्टर ऑफ आर्ट्स इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डेवलपमेंट चेंज एंड लीडरशिप अभिनव प्रवीण ए ज्योतिका अधिश सूद आकाशदीप यादव अक्षय सिन्हा ए नवीन कुमार रेड्डी विश्वरंजन मिश्रा हिमांशु पाराशर ईला वर्मा ख्याति कपूर
मेघना महाजन मनुराज कुमार मनुराज कुमार मोहित मेहता एम रणधीर चौहान निखिल जगदेव प्रतीक्षा दास रेहान खान ऋषभ जैन सत्यम राय शोभित गुप्ता सौम्या भट्टाचार्य जी सुदीप्ता नायक सुब्रत जैन विवेक कुमार ईला वर्मा ओके ईला वर्मा इन एब्सेंशिया गौरव सिंह रोहित चिन्नायक युक्ति गोहानिया नाउ मास्टर ऑफ आर्ट्स मास्टर ऑफ साइंसेस एनालिटिक्स अक्षय हराल का अंगद सिंह पेंटन अपूर्व चौहान मानसी बर्थवाल मिसाला सत्य प्रवीण ऋषि कुमार झा ऋतविका गौतम रोहित फिलिप एक्का संजना शिव शक्ति किशन श्रद्धा भाटिया शुभम अग्रवाल सुनीत जडेजा सुरेंद्र नाथ मुर्मू तनिषा राव विशाल यशस्वी वुंग ग्रो तुंग पैटर्न इन एब्सेंशिया अभिजीत सिंह मिलन चेत्री हर्ष सोनी नवनीत रंजन एंड रोहन कपिल थैंक यू आई रिक्वेस्ट डीन स्कूल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट स्टडीज टू इन्वाइट द स्टूडेंट्स ग्रेजुएटिंग विथ मास्टर ऑफ आर्ट्स इन डेवलपमेंट स्टडीज मास्टर ऑफ आर्ट्स इन वोमेंस स्टडीज टू रिसीव देयर डिग्रीज students graduating from school of development studies first master of arts in development studies anand gupta thank you thank you, thank you lovely 
भाल तड़क आकांक्षा विनोद अविरामी एस एम अंजलि जे अनुभा शाह भानुप्रिया कुमार भार्गवी सोनोवल कॉली देवप्रिया चंद देवांगी कॉल फातिमा राम शी पी एम काव्या मोहन कोमल लकरा कुणाल कुलदीप राव रुघे मनीष कुमार पवन मोतीराम वास्तनिक थैंक यू प्रज्ञा वर्मा प्रकृति रंजन राजनंदिनी वर्मन संदीप कुमार शेषांत सिंह सुमन शिक्षा सुहेश अग्रवाल तरनदीप कौर वैभवी मुकुंद घरोटे विधु प्रकाश विष्णुजीत बी विश्वा पटेल जीबा काजी इन एबसेंसिया जयशंकर वेंगत अटिल अभिदा योशी धनंजय गौंड राहुल प्रकाश सिंह नाउ स्टूडेंट ग्रेजुएटिंग इन मास्टर ऑफ आर्ट्स इन वेमेन्स स्टडीज फातिमा सुल्ताना के आशीष राजेश्वर गहाने चेरिथा जेलाल सी शुभाश्री शिवानी दक्षा चतुर्वेदी लक्ष्मी अशोक के राजीव आनंद कुशवाहा रशद उल्लाह खान रशद उल्लाह खान रिंकू कुमारी 
रिंकू स्नेह ठाकुर सुरभि सुबा अच्छा इन्हें इन एब्सेंस ही है अनुक्षा महेश्वरी अरुंधति नारायण कांडुला विंदुजा संचिता दुवेदी सुकन्या भट्टाचार्य और प्रतिक्षा पराशर थैंक यू वेरी मच I request Dean School of Education to invite the students graduating with Master of Arts in Education Elementary to receive their degrees. I think uh, School of uh, but you are Uh, first, now I request Dean School of Human Ecology to invite their student graduating with Master of Arts in Applied Psychology, <laughs> Counseling and Clinical to receive their degrees. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to introduce the students who are graduating with the Masters in Applied Psychology, Specialization in Clinical and Counseling Practice. There are 90 students and they're making themselves heard. <laughs> Ayushi Mittal. Alankrita Datta. Ankita Patwari. Anmol Bhargava, Woo! Aradhya Singh, Woo! Arsalan Ahmed, Woo! Arushi Singh, Woo! Asha Purna Das, Ashita Arora, Aisha Fida, Baba Harini, Bhavya Kumar, Bhavya Malhotra, Chehek Gidwani, Chinme Pathak, Debashri Das, Divyal Jain, Ira Vishnoi, Gurkripa Kaur, Hashir, Himani Pundhir, Himanshi Yadav, Indrani Barua, Janvi Khadye, Khanak, Khanak, Kirti Vadva, Woo! 
Merita Joseph. <laughs> Mohammed Shamil. <laughs> Mohammed Shamil. <laughs> Maithili. <laughs> Namisha Cham Chamaria. Namisha Chamaria. <laughs> Navya Kapoor. Navya Kapoor. <laughs> Nikita Girdhar. <laughs> Nishtha Jain. <laughs> Urja Rawat. Parvati Ganeshan. Pavan Kumar. Pooja Lal. Prerna Patra. Rajita Kaushal. Ramya Kaushik, Riddhi, Sanya Palkar, Sarayu Narayan, Saurabh Nirmal. Giri Prasad. Shailaja Chaurasya. Shreya Avidnini. Shreya Singh. Simran Gill, Simran Singla, Sri Siddhi, Stuti Kalra, Suveni Kaul. Swarnava Mukherjee, Tanya Sharma, Tejal Khedekar, Tiyasha Sikdar, Vidushi Jaiswal, Vijay Lakshmi Samal, Vrinda Saini, Akanksha Singh, Aishwarya Bhujkar, Anshruta Deep Kumar.
देवांशी थमन रक्तिम साइक्या शुभांगी जगदेव आदित्य वंजारी शर्वरी अष्टापुत्रे I also present the names of the students who are receiving their degree in absentia Abhi Lad Arushi Srivastava Chandrima Das Hos Vijil Lalrim Wati Sailo Mimansa Khanduri Samreen Rahman Uzma Mohammadi Chashmawala Shayoni Saha Jiana Ghaswala Sanjit Sengupta Anamika Dohre Shaivi Srivastava Moksha Pasricha Archana Raghavan Rahul Kotekar Anushri Samant, Harshita, Kumari Sarika, Jaspreet, Kumar, uh, Jaspreet Kaur Gil, Ayushi Tejrana, Jaslene Kaur. Congratulations to all graduating students. I request Dean School of Education to invite the student graduating with Masters of Art in Education Elementary to receive their degree. It's my pleasure to announce the list of graduating students in the Master of Arts in Education Elementary. Achila Sangtam. <laughs> Aditi Lad. <laughs> Akitab Sharma. <laughs> Ashwini Ashok Meshram. Bansi Ashok Kumar Sharma, <laughs> Havis Teja, <laughs> Kanika Madan, <laughs> Kavisu. Krishna B. Meenu Kumari. Mohammad Javad. Monica Sharma. Nikesh Chandrakan Savant. Rahul Akarwal, <laughs> Shri Vidya Sunkisula, <laughs> Vani Kumari, <laughs> Vilas Jaipal Dorle. Jesh Singh, V. Nikita Chari. The following students will receive their degree in absentia. M. Esther, Neha Kaktan, Ajay Rajendra Gajbiye, Alok Sharma, Chitendra Chintaman Rao Shende. Congratulations to all the graduating students. I request nominee of chairperson, Center of Excellence in Teacher Education to invite the students graduating with Master of Arts in Education to receive their degree. I invite the graduating uh, batch of MA in Education, Aksa Mariam Pulos, <laughs> Chetan, Daniel Anandraj, Deepa Karora, George Jos,
Karishma Rai. Mayuri Bhim Rao Sambharkar. Mehak Jain. Neel Maheshwari. Rashi Kohli. Saira Meran George. Sambit Kumar Mishra. Shweta Das. Tejaswini. Students receiving in absentia Ajay Thomas Lukos, Anjali Vyas, Bipin Bhima Sulanki, Namrata Munishwaran, Prachi Somani, Vibhor Ved. Thank you. I request Dean Jamshed Ji Tata School of Disaster Studies to invite the students graduating with Master of Arts, Master of Science in Disaster Management to receive their degrees. With great pride, I present the graduating students from the Jamshedi Tata School of Disaster Studies, MA in Disaster Management with specialization in Disaster Policy and Action, Priya Kanwar, <laughs> Shambhavi Singh, Shashank Sinha, Srijan Pant. MSc in Disaster Management with specialization in Disaster Policy and Action, Dipali Bar, Galane Piyush Arun, Jessica Terran, Muskan Ahmed, Paulami Ganguli, Shirsha Pant, Shubham Murlidhar Dabe Rao, Shubham Naskar. Next, I present the MA in Disaster Management with specialization in Disasters and Development, Dipendra Singh. Tirta Sabu, MSc in Disaster Management with specialization in Disasters and Development, Meghna Guha, Shivani Kaim. Next, I present the MA in Disaster Management with specialization in Technologies for Disaster Management, Nisha. Vaishnavi, MSc in Disaster Management with technology, specialization in technologies for disaster management, Atul Manohar, Bateshwar Das, Rohit Shetty Kusalkar. The graduating students in absentia, Katyaini Sood, Nihil, Shiva, Shiva Sharma Lute, Rizwan Ahmad, Rohit Chaudhary Rajora, Shreya Gurung. I congratulate the passing. I request Dean School of Media and Cultural Studies to invite the students graduating with Master of Arts in Media and Cultural Studies to receive their degrees. Uh, good evening. Uh, with great pleasure, I invite the students of uh, Media and Cultural Studies who are graduating today. Abhishek Devari. <laughs> Alka Singh. <laughs> Anuj Bhatt. Ashutosh Kumar. <laughs> B. 
बनी सरकार भव्या अतुल कुमार सलोट चंद्रिका मायरा चारू बहल दर्शन के देविका दिनेश दृष्टि वेद गीतिका शर्मा कैडम नंगपोंग गंबा मधुबनी भट्टाचार्य मधुरा सेन निविशा खान निर्मले सूरज बगोजी पलाश शैक्या संहिता धर शांवी राव सताक्षी सिंह शिखा अरुणिमा लक्रा शिक्षा जुराल सुमित कुमार सोनी सूर्यकांत पात्रे तन्मय शुक्ला वर्णिका शर्मा विति जो स्टूडेंट्स ग्रैजुएटिंग इन एब्सेंशिया अम्बरीन फातिमा अंकिता घोष माधव मूर्ति प्रज्ञश्री पूजा एलिजबेथ अब्रहम सारा वाइकूल शोरजा सेनगुप्ता सुचेता चौरासिया माय बेस्ट कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई रिक्वेस्ट डीन स्कूल ऑफ लॉ राइट्स एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल गवर्नेंस टू इनवाइट द स्टूडेंट्स ग्रेजुएटिंग विथ मास्टर ऑफ लॉस एल एल एम एक्सेस टू जस्टिस टू रिसीव देयर डिग्रीज गुड इवनिंग इट इज माई प्लेजर टू कॉल अपॉन स्टूडेंट ग्रेजुएटिंग इन एल एल एम एंड एक्सेस टू जस्टिस प्रोग्राम अदीना सुंदर भाव्या सुधीर दीपशिखा त्रिवेदी दिविता सिंह हरिकृष्णन आर प्रणव कुमार झा मोनिका यादव शिवांगी कुमारी मिश्रा श्रुति नामदेव रामटेके श्रुतिका पांडे श्वेता भुयान सुदर्शन गंगाधर सुमंत कुमार तेजस्वी का यादव विनय कुमार स्टूडेंट्स रिसीविंग डिग्री इन एफ अभिषेक सिंह अफीफा ए पी के 
आकांक्षा जगन्नाथ गवई अर्पण एम एक्का दिव्य ज्योति माझी जतिन वर्मा मयंक यादव मेघी डोगाम नीरज कुमार निकिता सिंह प्रभाकर मुंडा प्रखर सिंह राहुल कुमार रजत शंकर मिश्रा रमनदीप सिंह सम्राट केशरी मिश्रा संध्या गुप्ता संतोष कुमार विनीशा एन डोनाडे योगेश एस कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल द ग्रेजुएटिंग स्टूडेंट थैंक यू नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट चेयरपर्सन सेंटर फॉर लाइब्रेरी एंड इंफॉर्मेशन मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज टू इन्वाइट द स्टूडेंट ग्रेजुएटिंग विथ मास्टर ऑफ लाइब्रेरी एंड इंफॉर्मेशन साइंस टू रिसीव देयर डिग्रीज Thank you. Uh, it gives me pleasure to present before you the students graduating from Master of Library and Information Science. First, Arya P. S. <laughs> Madiha Nazif. <laughs> Mogle Parmeshwar Ramesh. Pawan Kumar Kohli, Priya Namdev Bhale, Sanjay Topo, Shraddha Vankhede, Sunita Kumari, and in absentia abhishek kumar congratulations to all the graduating students By virtue of authority vested in me as director of the institute, I admit you to your respective degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Science, Master of Public Health, and those graduating students in absentia with the, all the honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities, and I charge each of you to prove worthy of the degree throughout your life. Now, now I request the Deputy Director TISS, Professor Bino Paul, to read out the message of Sri Vijay Singh, Chairman, Governing Board of TISS, and introduce the Chief Guest. To all the graduating students, a hearty congratulation on reaching this wonderful milestone. I am delighted that the class of 2022, representing nearly all the states of India who join the campuses of Tata Institute of Social Sciences at Mumbai and Tuljapur to pursue their dream academic programs, are today going to be conferred their well-deserved degree. I'm sure that each one of you has enormously progressed in terms of your capabilities during your coursework and that you now have far, far greater competencies than when you began your studies at TIS. I am also sure that in the process of earning your degree, you have acquired intellectual strength and imbibed the rich ethos of TIS that you shall apply to build and support an equitable, gender-just, and sustainable world. Uh, my dear graduates, 
your accomplishments at this are impressive. All the same, at this juncture, it is important to acknowledge all those who have been a part of your journey. You've been supported as much by the faculty, staff, and other peers at the Institute as by your parents, friends, and relatives. Several of you have been supported by generous donors and central state government fellowships. I, I would like you to join me in thanking these institutions and individuals who have helped you realize your dreams. I'm very confident that every new graduate passing out of the hallowed portals of TIS has the ability to draw on its ethos to reimagine the future. Going forward, we will await news of your leadership, your success, and your contributions to society with a great deal of keenness. Congratulations once again, and all the very best for a bright future. Vijay Singh, Chairman, Governing Board, Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Vice Chairman, Tata Trust. Yes. I'd like to introduce, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Sadish Pradhan, Honorable Chief Guest. For today. Doc, Dr. Sadish Pradhan is not new to us, he's an independent consultant. More importantly, he was on the Governing Council of Tata Institute of Social Sciences and the Board of Bombay Natural History Society and the Advisory Board of the School of Vocational Studies at TIS. In various capacities, Dr. Sadish has, Pradhan has been helping us, guiding us. He was an adjunct faculty at TIS Tiljapo. He co-chairs a global Human Resources Innovation Network with Walt Cleaver and has been the convener of the Social Innovation Conference of Pune International Center. He was advisor to the Tata Group from May 2013 till January 2015. He retired as Chief Group Human Resources, Tata Sons, in May 2013. At Tata Sons, he headed the Tata Group HR function. In the preceding 12 years, he built on the legacy of the two institutions of Tata Administrative Services and TMTC, Tata Management Training Center, and create a unique HR function in the group. Prior to joining the group in April 2001, he was with ICI in London at their head office as organization design and development manager. He has a master's degree in history from Delhi University and is a chartered fellow of the Char Chartered Institute of Personal Development, United Kingdom. Perhaps that's apex qualification in the field. He has worked in public sector and private sector companies. During the last 40 years, he has worked with Steel Authority of India, CMC Limited, ICI India, Brookbond Limited, Lipton India Limited, ICI, in various leadership roles. He was on the board of National Payment Corporation of India and Thal Manufacturing Solutions Limited till 2020, and on the boards of Tata Auto Com Systems Limited, TGY Batteries, Tata Services Limited, Computation Research Lab, and on the Strategic Advisory Board of IT Roorkee, among others. 
leadership broad board advisory ceo coaching organization strategy and design are his areas of interest and most crucial thing about dr sadish pradhan he is passionately involved in conservation especially uh, tiger tiger conservation and community are the two spaces he has passionately worked he is the founder of the leadership center and the srishti conservation foundation i welcome dr sadish pradhan on their ex sorry based on their excellent academic performance the meritorious students are being awarded the prizes medals and shields of the institute i have the honor to request the chief guest dr satish pradhan to kindly give away the prizes medals and shields to the respective awardees dr pradhan institute ready institute gold medal alumni association of health administration chapter shield and prize instituted by the mha student in 2102 academic year to the best student in the master of hospital administration matre rohan pradeep again mr mathe rohan pradeep for the mk tata prize to the best student in the master of public health in health administration and hospital administration <laughs> institute of silver medal to the second best student in the master of hospital administration abia parveen Institute Gold Medal Alumni Association of Health Administration of Chapter Shield and Prize instituted by the MHA student 2102 academic year to the best student in the Master of Public Health in Health Administration Pravkirat Kaur Dilo institute silver medal to the second best student in the master of public health in health administration bindia k nayar <clears throat> institute gold medal and shield to the best student मास्टर ऑफ पब्लिक हेल्थ सोशल एपिडेमोलॉजी रश्मि भट्टाचार्य जी Farheen Ahmed in absentia for institute silver medal to the second best student master of public health 
सोशल एपिडेमियोलॉजी इंस्टीट्यूट गोल्ड मेडल एंड सील टू द बेस्ट स्टूडेंट मास्टर ऑफ पब्लिक हेल्थ हेल्थ पॉलिसी इकोनॉमिक्स एंड फाइनेंस आयुषी भारद्वाज Institute silver medal to the second best student master of public health health policy economics and finance Srismi R <laughs> Anjana Ramakrishnan in absentia for ntpc gold medal to the best girl student master of arts human resource management and labor relations <laughs> institute gold medal and s kalsi seal to the best student master of arts human resources management and labor relations harsh vardhan He is also MK Tata Prize to the best student master of arts human resource management and labor relations Harsh Vardhan an ipm silver medal to the student is securing highest marks master of arts human resources management and labor relation 2019 21 batch sumanos gadade in absentia in absentia mahendra raju in absentia for mrs sr pankal shield and prize in to the best student in the field work master of arts human resources management and labor relations he is also for institute silver medal and prize instituted by the pm and ir student of 1987 89 batch to the second best student master of arts human resources management and labor relations now institute gold medal to the best student master of arts social entrepreneurship nidhi mangesh vartak <laughs> nidhi mangesh vartak for the prize to the best student in field work project master of arts Institute silver medal to the second best student master of arts social entrepreneurship mausam kapil kumar institute gold medal to the best student master of arts globalization and labor anya pathak Vasudha Saveri in absentia for institute silver medal to the second best student master of arts globalization and labor institute gold medal to the best student master of arts organizational development change and leadership Rehan Khan
इंस्टीट्यूट सिल्वर मेडल टू द सेकंड बेस्ट स्टूडेंट मास्टर ऑफ आर्ट्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल डेवलपमेंट चेंज एंड लीडरशिप ख्याति कपूर Prize to the best field immersion master of arts, organizational development, change and leadership, Adi Sud. <laughs> Institute gold medal to the best student, master of arts, master of science, analytics, Mansi Barthwal. इंस्टीट्यूट सिल्वर मेडल टू द सेकंड बेस्ट स्टूडेंट मास्टर ऑफ आर्ट्स एनालिटिक्स तनिषा रॉय Prize to the best student in field work project, Master of Arts Analytics, Rohit Philip Ekka. <laughs> Institute gold medal to the best student, Master of Arts Development Studies, Seshan Singh. Institute Silver Medal to the second best student Master of Arts Development Studies, Devyangi Call. <laughs> Institute Gold Medal to the best student Master of Arts Women Studies, Rajiv Anand Kuswa. Institute Silver Medal to the second best student Master of Arts Women Studies Sukanya Bhattacharya in Absentia. <laughs> Institute Gold Medal to the best student Master of Arts in Education Elementary Havis Theja Yaravalli. Institute Silver Medal to Second Best Student Master of Arts in Education Elementary, Rahul Agarwal. Certificate of Merit to the Best Field Attachment Master of Arts in Education Elementary, V. Nikita Chari. <laughs> Institute Gold Medal to the Best Student Master of Arts in Applied Psychology, Clinical and Counseling Practice, Anusruta Deep Kumar.
इंस्टीट्यूट सिल्वर मेडल टू द सेकेंड बेस्ट स्टूडेंट मास्टर ऑफ आर्ट्स इन अप्लाइड साइकोलॉजी क्लिनिकल एंड काउंसलिंग प्रैक्टिस सिमरन गिल Prize and is sent to the best student in field work, Master of Arts in Applied Psychology, Clinical and Counseling Practice, Merita Anju Joseph. Archana Raghavan in absentia for Mr. Emmanuel E. Agabaliju sit for the best international student. <laughs> Institute gold medal to the best student master of arts education, Aksa Mariam Paulso. Institute Silver Medal to the second best student, Master of Arts Education, George Jos. <laughs> Institute Gold Medal to the best student, Master of Arts, Master of Science, Disaster Management, Nisha. Shreya Gurung in absentia for Institute Silver Medal to the second best student, Master of Arts, Master of Science, Disaster Management. <laughs> Certificate of Merit for the best student, year internship, Master of Arts, Master of Science, Disaster Man Management, Muskan Ahmed. Professor Vijay Tendulkar, gold medal to the best student, Master of Arts, Media and Cultural Studies, Bani Sarkar. Narayan Survey, Silver Medal to Second Best Student, Master of Arts, Media and Cultural Study, Chandrika Mayra. Ankita Ghosh in absentia for Vakar Pyare Khan certificate to the best media project, Master of Arts, Media and Cultural Studies. <laughs> Vakar Pyare Khan certificate to the best media project, Master of Arts, Media and Cultural Studies, Darshan K. M. Pragna Sri in absentia for Vakar Pyarekha certificate to the best media project, Master of Arts, Media and Cultural Studies. <laughs> Institute gold medal to the best student, Master of Law, LLM, Access to Justice, Divita Singh.
कौन सा She is also for prize and seal to the best field work master of laws LLM access to justice. <laughs> Institute silver medal to the second best student master of laws access to justice Adhina Sundar. Institute gold medal to the best student master of library information science Arya PS Institute Silver Medal to the second best student in Master of Library Information Science, Sanjay Topo. It is, it is my pleasure and honor of this institute to invite the chief guest, Dr. Satish Pradhan, former group head of HR Tata Group, to kindly deliver the convocation address, Dr. Pradhan. A very good afternoon, evening to all of you. Uh, Madam Director Shalini Ji, um, Deputy Director Bino Ji, uh, respected faculty members, uh, staff, and, and other guests, and most importantly, the cohort of graduating students uh, that I see in front of me in a sea draped in green. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be back here um, after a bit of a gap during COVID to the Institute with which I've had a long association. And it's a pleasure to be back at the convocation uh, to speak to all of you. I'm really delighted and it's an honor to be able to address very special people like you. Uh, this is not a platitude. It's not typical HR speak. You are special to me. Don't giggle. <laughs> uh, you are really special to me. And I'll tell you why. Uh, you're a special category of people. So as a set, you're, you're very special. But as each individual, I think you're really very, very special. Uh, it doesn't mean that you're better or worse than others, but you're very unique and very different and bring something almost magical to every world that I'm sure you have lived in and every universe that you will be a part of. Uh, you're also very special because you've had the benefit um, or, as I refer to my upbringing as uh, 
faulty upbringing, um, you've had the advantage of being brought up in TIS. You took an oath at the beginning of this evening's function. And I'm sure as you said those words and heard those words and promised, a lot of it would have reinforced what you did online, offline during the two years that you've been here. Um, such words and pledges have great meaning and intensity when they come alive in what you see happening around and what you participate in doing all around you in actual day-to-day -day behavior. And I think that is the magical quality of this education. The Institute, to my mind, brings many things together. Uh, it's a place I have a soft spot for. But I think it brings two threads from the Tata Trusts, uh, which are important and have been acted upon in building institutions like TISS, IISC, and many other philanthropic activities. The first thread is to take the best and make them better. And that's one of the reasons why you're special. And the second is more inclusively to take the disadvantaged and let them fly and soar without let or hindrance of opportunity or enablement. And you've been a witness to practicing and to doing it yourselves over here. So these two are the magical threads of the institution that I call you special for. You're also special because you're a unique generation. Um, my wife, who happens to be an alumni of this institution in the days of Dr. Gore's times, uh, very early in her association here got plunged into field work at a place called Morvi, which most of you probably may not have been born by that time. There was a disaster, and this, as it's, as it is, as it is prone to do, uh, jumped into the act. Pass me the other mic. This thing is going off and on. Uh, she jumped into the act as a volunteer and for field work and actually experienced a disaster there. And that was a crucible moment in her life and I'm witness to that. You have lived through a crucible moment of, I'm jinxed. I'll try and, if you can't hear me, wave your hand, I'll try and shout louder. Okay? Yeah? Okay. Hello. Okay, we're back. Uh, <clears throat> so you, you have lived through a period of time of two years or more in your association with this institution where you have been off campus, uh, you've been on campus back now, but you have probably also experienced the worst, nearly the worst or the worst disaster mankind has faced during this period. During your period of studying and growing up as people who are working in the area of the human context. That I think makes you very special. Uh, partly because of the pain and the trauma you've seen and experienced and partly because of the joy and delight of the good stuff you've seen and done yourselves. Uh, don't take that lightly. So you're special. Uh, and you're special people walking into a world which is very different. A lot of people have said how different it is, why it is different. But I want to frame that question in a different way. I think there, is, there are four vectors that come out of our present and what we are walking into in the future, especially people like you 
as you step out of the portals of an institution like this uh, to engage with other challenges in work. Um, and I'd like to use an acronym called, and it's fashionable, so you know, everything is tech nowadays. Uh, I'd like to use that as an acronym. And maybe to etch that deeper in my mind, I'll spell it out the other way and say, let's etch these four vectors. Uh, to me, there is a fundamental shift in the, the nature of what we understand as economics. And the trigger, I would, I would say, in my mind was uh, early enough, but it sort of settled in during this time, uh, summarized by Amartya Sen's approach to capabilities. Our ability to distinguish between access to doing and being something and access to the opportunities to become capable of doing those things is a very important distinction that has come home to us in this period, among other things. Technology, of course, AI, machine learning, you name it and it's all happening all around us. Uh, and I'll, I'll spell that out in a moment. Uh, the C is about climate change and conservation, which is my pet peeve and has been spoken about by um, the earlier session of the, of the convocation. Our chief guest spoke about it at length. Uh, and the, the final H is what we are all about in a revisited manner, which is humanness. There are questions that I think will come at you differently from the generations that we have lived in and we have grown up and worked because the whole universe in a sense has been reset. Questions on economics fundamentally that I think will need to be addressed by you as the creators and the, the participants of this very exciting and very challenging future is about the nature of choices and the access of opportunities for everyone, including yourselves. And I think if we don't start looking at that differently, the numbers that we are counting and the way we are counting them may soon actually have already in some ways become irrelevant you are not going to have the luxury of experts telling you what to do. In your day-to-day -day life, in all these areas, you will need to measure things that we club under economy or finance or financial factors differently. And the tyranny of markets has brought a lot of grief and pain to us, but it's also brought some good. And the way you navigate those dimensions in your lives and the work you do will make a huge difference. So be mindful of that. Technology is ubiquitous and is going to get more ubiquitous as we go along. But the heart of humanizing that you have distinctly and uniquely picked up in your choices, your preferences and your institution that you are now uh, graduating from is in one fundamental aspect of the technology question. If AI is going to be of the great promise that it, it, it shows us and machine learning, how are we going to humanize the design and the architecture and the algorithms of AI for it to reasonably resemble intelligence? and not just be a newer version of spreadsheets. And I'm not making grandiose statements on all of these things. I'm, I'm saying this will impinge on everything you do in your life, whether you're working as an employee, whether you're working with the community, whether you're working with policy making, or any other space given the trajectory of the kind of work that you've done in your studying and led up to here. 
Conservation is the, the, the C that I was talking about. I won't spend too much time with that. There are perhaps a fairly significant number of SDGs that address environment and conservation, which you would have studied, or at least some of you would have a nodding acquaintance with. But I do think they will have to come alive in your choices of the life you lead, the way you lead it, and the work you do, and the workplace that you do it. Again, if I specify, it becomes pres prescriptive. But I'm going to leave that question, how are you going to engage with these challenges for the world around you and for your lives to actually be the fourth point that I made about humanness? What COVID has taught us, which was bubbling up anyway, and with our own personal experiences, your experiences, things that you did, you saw, you observed, you hurt by, things that you saw happening which hurt you, and things that you will, I'm sure, at points of time in the future and even now, reflect on and say, could I have done something different? Could I have done something more? Could I have done something less? And how do you convert that into energy to create a more human context? Bring in a more human dimension to everyone you touch, to everything you do, in every space that you're present. That is the difference of all these four dimensions that I'm talking about in the world that we are now living in and will continue to, to, continue to progress into. So let me uh, come down to earth and say, I pray that you go forth with your head held high, with humility and humanness as your constant compass. with a belief that you can and you will make a difference. But we can only make an impact if we work together. So how are we going to make the difference that I want to and choose to in a manner that can only become an outcome at a larger level if I work together with other people? That really is going to be the heart of the questions that will help you navigate a wholesome and meaningful future for yourselves, for your families, for your communities you live in, for the country, and hopefully the planet. I'd like to say I wish for you that your path, which inevitably will be with a lot of glory and achievement and accomplishment, is constantly paved with higher and higher achievements and accomplishments. So that this group of Gurujan will hear about you and be proud, and the institution will feel fulfilled and wholesome in what it has contributed to society. And finally, I'd say, between thanking your parents and your family and your Gurujan, also remember the peers and the occasional contacts you have with other people who are not even known to you and how they have touched you and how you have touched them and how you will continue to do that. And feel good about your wholesome life. God bless you all and congratulations. Now I request the Deputy Director TISS, Professor Bino Paul, to felicitate the Chief Guest.
now i request professor bino paul deputy director to propose the vote of thanks Dr. Sadish Pradhan Ji, Honorable Chief Guest, Professor Shalini Bharat, Director and Vice Chancellor, Data Institute of Social Sciences, Professor Ramesh Chare, Deputy Director, Tuljapur Off Campus, Professor Asim Prakash, Deputy Director, Hyderabad Off Campus, Professor Kalpana Sarthi, Deputy Director, Gohati Off Campus, Narendra Misraji, Officiating Registrar, members of the Governing Board, members of the Academic Council, faculty, colleagues, staff, service staff, students, parents and relatives, and distinguished guests in the audience. It's my pleasure and privilege to propose the vote of thanks on the 82nd Convocation of the Institute. Indeed, the Convocation signifies the legacy and the emergence of a new generation transformed by higher education. On this auspicious day, I extend hearty congratulations to all who graduate. It heralds a new journey, vision, and mission. It's reimagining the future as we all work collectively to attain exceptional and uncommon learning. Families also steadfastly support, supported us. We express our gratitude to all parents for their support. Our sincere thanks to Mr. Vijay Singh, interim chairperson of the Institute's governing board for his continued support and guidance to the Institute. On behalf of the Institute, we thank Honorable Chief Guest Dr. Sadish Pradhanji for bestowing a precious opportunity to hear your wisdom. Indeed, your words inspire all of us to work on sustainable common futures. And your words and achievements will inspire all convocating graduates. Professor Shalini Bharat, Vice Chancellor and Director of the Institute, led the collective this. She inspired us to tide over difficulties and pave the way for novel thoughts and initiatives. We thank you for your exemplary leadership. We thank Professor Surinder Jaswal, former Deputy Director, for guidance and stellar leadership. It's crucial to express gratitude for the shared leadership by off-campus deputy directors and the team, especially in generating higher order coherence in governance. Narendra Misraji, the officiating registrar, coordinated and brought a sense of common purpose. I thank Narendra Misraji and the academic section team under the able leadership of Dean Academics, Professor Shah Jahan, for being resilient in post-COVID scenario and making the convocation possible. Also, I sincerely appreciate Professor Asha Banu, Dean Student Affairs, and Professor Ramaya, Equal Opportunity, Dean Equal Opportunity Center and SEST Cell, and staff in supporting and handholding the students throughout the academic session. Mr. Gavri Shankar Kamble and his team from the examination unit to academic session deserve special mention here. This exemplifies shared leadership with common space and purpose. The school deans and center chairs played 
pivotal role in shaping all learning programs and culminating them in convocation. This is the first pandemic convocation. The venue itself has been renovated. There were strenuous efforts to put the progress back on track. The whole staff across sections and domains played significant role in resuming the halted journey. The resilience we witness here is an outcome of fantastic teamwork. The teams were led by the deputy registrars, Srinivas Kotaji, finance and accounts, Sanjay Shaji, personal section, and Sharadji, assistant registrar, Tuljapur off campus. Across the schools, all secretaries worked towards making the convocation a success. Irrespective of rank and file, people worked as a team to achieve the goal of organizing today's event, the convocation. The IT center led by Shiva Kumarji and Shibu Albarji bolstered the task of coordinating the convocation. Moreover, the academic processes could only have been completed impeccably with the IT center's concerted efforts. We thank the team led by the librarian Dr. Sadish Kanmadi of Sir the Rajji Tata Memorial Library for their efforts towards facilitating knowledge resources, documenting and archiving. The hostel coordination led by Nirmala Mominji was crucial for the pursuit of the learning processes in an impeccable manner on campus. <laughs> Thanks are due to the warden and the hostel staff. We gratefully acknowledge the efforts of the security staff led by Sunil Vangadeji. Their care made our system safe and comfortable. The publication unit led by Sudha Ganavadiji toil hard to document and coordinate the publication of the annual report. Special thanks, thanks are due to the publication unit. Mahendra Singhji. Section Officer, Faculties and Service, Lidesh Konke Ji and Meenal Savan, the Dining Hall and Guest House staff deserve a special mention for their support and help. A special word of thanks to various bodies, committees and administrative and resource units whose sufficient work keeps the wheels of the institution moving. The Students' Union, Gender Amity Committee, Maintenance, maintenance Section, Meeting Section, Computer Section, Finance and Accounts, Library, Dining Hall, Health Center, Media Center, Security, not to forget the staff in Directors, Deputy Directors and Registrar's Office, all worked as a team coherently. Thanks are also due to our school, med school of Media and Culture Studies for photography service and designing of prize-winning certificates. Several committees have worked behind the scene to make this program a success. We appreciate the efforts of all committees, reception committee, stage committee, internal security, hospitality, and many more. Two entities need special mention. Behind the process, teaching, program smooth and efficient functioning, there are secretariats of schools and centers. <laughs> they are the backbone of our teaching programs. Thanks to all of them. We thank the doctoral student office for the support towards MPhil and PhD scholars, especially their life cycle Organizing, organizing the life cycle, managing it. And convocation is a special time in the life of students. My best wishes to all of you <laughs> as you step out to take on the world. And a big thank you.
now i request the director tiss to declare the convocation closed i de i declare the convocation closed Please rise for the national anthem. Jana gana mana adhinayak jaya he Bharat bhagya vidhata Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha Dravida, Uttala, Vanga Vindra Himachal Yamuna Ganga Uchal Jaladhi Taranga Tava Shubha Name Jage Tava Shubha Aashish Maage Gahe Tava Jaya Gatha Jana Gana Mangal Daayak Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidhata Jai Hind, Jai Hind, Jai Hind, Jai 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 Hind.